What's up guys? It's Jason with Napier Photography and 3D and today I got something really cool to bring you. This just got to me. It's the Palette 2 from Mosaic Manufacturing and the Canvas Hub. You guys have been waiting for it. It's one of the most anticipated things of the year for me. So I'm so excited to get my hands on this. I'm, I'm one of a few people that get an early access look at the palette too. Some of you guys have already seen videos and stuff like that, but I don't think there have been any unboxings. So hopefully I'm going to be the first one guy to bring this to you. So this is due to come out, I think, within the next you know, 12 to 15 days maybe. People are going to be getting theirs. And, you know, I think some people have already gotten it, but initially it was we were hoping to get this a little bit earlier, but... You know, they didn't want to send anything out that wasn't really truly ready. And for my, you know, for my thing, what I guess I understand is that because they wanted this to be a true user's experience of what it's going to be like when, when someone gets their product, they wanted it to be a more complete version. So this is the Palette 2, and then there's a Palette uh, 2 Pro, okay? And then this is the Canvas Hub, which I didn't know I was going to get. And the Canvas Hub basically, and I'll talk to you about that, but basically it's a this is a device that allows your 3D printer and your Palette 2 to talk back and forth to each other with your 3D printer, and it's just amazing. So I got this in the mail. I've already popped it open. I've cut the tabs. So let's open it up. So I'm just going to, today what I'm going to show you, kind of what you're going to see when you open your box, and uh, just, uh, let's just dive right in. So first initial reaction is, is this is heavy. It's not light. So I'm assuming whatever's in here is very well built, which I'm excited about. All right, let's put this off to the side. All right, so we got foam. You guys have my above angle view here. Uh, and so very well packaged because coming from Canada, you know, to the U.S., uh, I got this in one day. They overnighted this to me. So I'm pretty pumped to get this to do this video. Wow. Check it out. So <laughs> this is awesome. I've been seeing pictures of this and videos of this online. And so I'm really excited to see Oh my gosh, so cool. All right, so here's the instructions. Um, I'm not going to bore you with all that stuff, but I'm going to go through and kind of uh, look through this later when I do my setup and my first print. So I'm going to set that off to the side. But check it out, guys. This thing looks futuristic. It's really revamped from the Palette Plus, and the Palette is, I mean, it's really cool. So you can see right here, and I did see online that they did spool holders. If you guys remember from the Palette, um, from the Palette Plus, the box actually was a spool holder and had these little plastic tabs that you could put on the side and it had a metal bar that you run, you could put your spools in that run it out of the box. So what they did right here is they actually uh, put in some spool holders. I did see that online. And so I'll show you guys what that looks like once I get that put together. Uh, maybe in another video when I'm doing things and kind of just show you my setup, maybe I'll put it on my Instagram. Um, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, it's the same, Napier Photography in 3D. Let's get this baby out of here. Whoa, that thing is heavy. That is not, that is not light by any stretch of the imagination. That is a heavy, heavy piece of equipment. So check this out. So you guys can't see it. So let me, let me put this up here so you guys can see the Palette 2 there. This is heavy. So this is, good job, Mosaic. This, this is really well done. I've, we've even got some, uh, we've even got some uh, things on the back of here so you can mount it. Uh, you know, we have the logo, the Mosaic Manufacturing logo on there. But this is sturdy. This is heavy duty. And uh, wow, really well done. All right, I've been waiting to do this. So not that it was a frustration. Okay, let's go ahead and say it was a frustration with the Palette Plus. If you had any kind of feeder jam or anything that was an issue, you had to unscrew four screws and pop everything off and get everything out of there. And it was, it was a little difficult for a novice to get into, but still a fantastic product. But what I love about this one, and I did see a video and I can't wait, is that the top of this, it's magnetized. <gasps> All right, let's look at this thing. Oh my gosh, look at that. Pops right off to expose your internals. Check it out, it's beautiful. Guys, this is a touch screen right here. Yeah, touch screen, okay. Ah. <sighs> 
The splicer core is right here. That pops out. So if you have any issues, you just pop that baby out. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. Let me just see if I can do this. Because like I said, I've never even touched this product. So let's just see how easy it is to pop that out. <laughs> Look at that. That, my friends, is amazing because that was nearly impossible for me to do on my other one. So it's got access screws for everything that you might have an issue with to get this off. So if you've got any issues with your filament going in crooked or anything like that, you can just take this off. You guys have outdone yourself. So for the guys over at Mosaic Manufacturing, this to me, it, even though I have no clue what I'm doing yet as far as, I mean, I've had, I've know my way around the older one uh, but to be able to get into inside of this for you guys you know you'll probably have to go and they've got tons of video and resources on how to operate on these if, if something were to go wrong on their website so you can go to their website and get those links but to get inside of the internals of this thing as compared to the other one was pretty stinking phenomenal that they thought let's make this easier to get into so they listened guys that's what i love about mosaic manufacturing is they listen to their customers all right so let me just flip this over you can see so i said this earlier that this is the future of 3d printing why because this is four colors four different colors you can mix and match whatever and then different materials that you can print with and for 3d printing enthusiasts and guys that are the professionals being able to do that fluidly and have no issues is a huge big deal so you feed those into here and basically what this palette plus does is that or the palette i'm sorry what this palette 2 does is it basically takes whatever your 3d print is and if it's multicolor and it basically takes all the filament in and splices it in links to go with the colors so if you go from a red uh base to something that's blue to the next object that's blue it basically knows the exact time in which it needs to go ahead and filter through uh over onto an, to a transition block those colors or internally into the actual model how long it needs to transition to where it gets into that before it starts the new piece now i'm excited to see because with my other one i did have a little bit of color running and things like that you know i finally got that somewhat adjusted uh, and, and just learned to work with colors that were easier for me but i'm excited because the next product i'm going to show you to let's get to the canvas hub all right so obviously nerdy but I don't know everything I'm just gonna kind of give you the basics on the canvas hub I want you to think of the canvas hub is like the middleman that talks between your palette 2 and your 3d printer and basically I don't know what the palette I don't know what the canvas hub might sound like and I don't have a very good Canadian accent so I'm not gonna do that but he's let's pretend for a second that he is uh, I'll probably change my accent this is a French accent because Canadians are French and the canvas hub will say hello you must change colors so basically the palette 2 and the canvas hub will talk to your 3d printer and you will tell them the color needs to change now so i'm not going to keep doing that voice that's horrible so let's pop the canvas hub off here it basically just communicates with your 3d printer and your palette 2. so look at this guys i mean i'm just appreciative of all of the details um, I love how neatly this is packed in here I mean somebody said something to me the other day and called me a mosaic manufacturing fanboy no I'm just a fan of anyone who listens to their customers who's got fantastic uh, you know feedback with their customers I mean their Facebook page if you guys are on there if you're not you need to join that uh, it's the it's the mosaics uh, manufacturing's Facebook page where it talks about the palette palette plus the palette 2 and the palette pro you guys can get on there and unlike any other product that you may have ever purchased in your life if you have an issue and you post it on Facebook the guys who actually run the company do the programming have invested their time in this they respond to you on their Facebook page I mean hello I don't know of anybody else that does that if you've ever tried to reach customer service with anybody else 
with any product, I'm not talking 3D printing or anything, that's pretty much stinking unheard of. But check out the logo on this thing, back to the canvas hub. I'm not a fanboy. I just know a good company when I see it. How about that? So if that makes me a fanboy, then <sighs> I'm a fanboy. But I told them I'd give them an honest review of what I thought about opening this product, and that's what I'm doing. I think it's well packaged. This thing seems solid. Look at the canvas hub. And I'm pretty sure that this, am I, okay, yeah. So just like the other one, to get into the internals of this, the faceplate just pops off. So there you have everything that you need to see i mean let's just go on record and say there's probably nothing that i'm gonna ever do on the inside of this but it looks really cool and the fact that i can get into it without having to unscrew a bunch of things risk stripping out some screws which was a problem with the other one i think i messed a couple up and had to use some of my additional ones that they gave me but this pops right in here this is amazing i'm really excited to see how to set this up but I just, like I say, today's just an unboxing. So I think in here, just got the wires. Oh, looks like we got, what is this? We have some stickers. Yes, sir. These will be going up on some, I think. So we have the Mosaic Manufacturing sticker. Does that make me a fanboy? Does it? Fanboy? I'm just fanboy now, huh? <laughs> so pretty cool. So I'm excited to get this all set up. But today, this was just an unboxing and just kind of give you a brief overview of the Palette, the Palette 2, the Palette 2 Pro, which I'll be getting one of those as well. But, uh, you know, check this thing out. I mean, so well packaged. I mean, this guy here from, and I can't, I'm, I mean, I, I can't speak for anybody who delivers your Palette 2, but mine came in one day because they wanted me to get this early. And this thing was flawless. I mean, it came in a box. It was so well packaged. I had no issues with it. I mean, this thing was heavy. I, I was wondering what all was in here. I thought we had, I had a tank in this thing. But I'm excited to get this set up and uh, get it working with my, my computer and have it all set up for you guys. But listen, for those of you guys that are about to get this pallet too, you should be really excited because this is a huge upgrade to the pallet and pallet plus touch screen i mean i can't wait to get this thing powered up i can't wait to get some products printed for you guys but just for my initial unboxing of this thing this thing is top quality i mean it was almost, it almost i guess it kind of reminded me of uh, when i've unboxed anything from like an apple product or something like that when i popped out my macbook my macbook pro or anything like that have the packaging the care that they put into the details and uh, someone had said on the facebook page about about the, uh, I'll show it to you. They said, hey, why can't the Canvas Hub box have, have been a little bit more attractive in its packaging? And uh, why is it so generic? Why couldn't they just make it? That's a question for Mosaic. But for me, honestly, this kind of, this is just, I like the simplicity. I, I love that because what's, what I think is really neat about it, <laughs> I don't know, like I'm, maybe I'm just reading into it too much, but that this is multi-material color printing and multicolor prints but the box is just basically black and white to me that's almost ingenious and it's almost like a kind of like a, a ha ha moment for me so i actually appreciate the fact that it's just a black and white package and and uh, i think that's neat and, and to be honest with you someone responded on the facebook page and said Hey, you're gonna throw that box away it's gonna sit in the corner it's not like you're gonna have it displayed anywhere and so having this beautiful colored mosaic palette plus box is not necessarily something that you're gonna have displayed anywhere you know unlike unlike the other box that you could use for a filament uh, holder you know it's not gonna really matter so anyway from Napier Photography to Mosaic Manufacturing, I appreciate you guys uh, getting me this early. I'm so excited. Um, uh, I'm, I hope I do it justice. Uh, again, like I say, I took a hiatus from 3D printing because I really wanted to give you guys a realistic impression of what it's like to kind of get this thing set up and going. And so, but that's not this video. This is just initial unboxing and just my excitement for getting it in. Um, you know, and I know some people, there's going to be some people and say, well, why did this guy get it and not a more experienced 3D printer? I can't answer that for you guys. All I can say is that I'm very appreciative to be one of the first to actually get a look at it uh, other than just what we've seen on the, the internet. So I can just tell you that you need to be pumped about this. 
they have outdone themselves as far as packaging. If the, if the packaging is any indication of how good the product's going to work, I mean, the fact that they thought about the user enough to make the lid, you know, easily accessible for the user with screws and things like that, that you can basically pop this off. I mean, guys, you don't get this with a lot of companies. Uh, and I just, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of Mosaic Manufacturing and the fact that they listen to their users and they try to make sure that their users are taken into account when they make the products. So that's that for this. I'm gonna actually put together the, the spool holder. This is the finished product of the spool holder. You know, as you can see, the bar just pops off there. You feed your filament through and you just place it right in there and the holes, I think that's a huge upgrade. I think this is just a, this is just a bonus that Mosaic threw in here for um, their users. It even has what I think is really cool. If you guys can see it on the back, if you wanted to mount this onto the wall, get out of here. That's really cool. So I was just thinking, hey, what if I wanted to mount this to the wall? You can. That's right, you can. So just feed your filament in here, stick the spools right there. You guys have already seen this probably on their Instagram, but hey, this is in Napier Photography Studio. So I'm telling you, this is, that is a steel bar, heavy plastic for these spool holders. So if you got it hanging on the wall, if you have it hanging on the wall like so, that's how you can do that. That's just an added bonus. Love it, so no matter how you mount it, if you accidentally mounted it the wrong way, you still can do that. So that's really stinking awesome. So anyway, thanks again, Mosaic Manufacturing. Thanks again for you guys that are have watched my channel. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed, please do so. You know, we're gonna be having more 3D printing coming through here. It is coming up on our little Thanksgiving break, so I'm gonna be out of town for a few days. So, you know, it'll probably take me a while before I get back and get more stuff going up. But, hope you guys stick around, hit the like button if you like the video. If you guys are a fan of Mosaic Manufacturing, you guys, I'll put a link to the company down below under the description. You guys should check them out on their Instagram and on their Twitter. You guys can reach out to Brennan Fu or Johnny Yu through Mosaic Manufacturing. That's the two guys that I know through Mosaic, but there's amazing people there. They're based out of Canada, but this is the future, guys. This is the future of 3D printing. So I'm excited for myself. I'm excited for the 3D community. And so for me to you guys, thank you for watching. More videos soon. Peace out.